Hi everybody, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077 on my PC. And uh, so let's, let's have a look at my character. So this is my character here. And literally I've just started the game and yet my character is level 50. Um, I've got uh, level 20 on all the different attributes. I've got 127 perk points to use. And in my inventory already I have got um, a very nice uh, D5, uh, D5 Sidewinder smart legendary assault rifle. So how did I do this? Well, now, some people may well call these uh, cheats and cheat menus. Um, but the thing I'd say is, Cyberpunk 2077 is a single player game. And once you play through it once, you may well want to explore the game, for example, you know, like myself, to create content for the game. Um, which could well mean um, wanting to use uh, various different mods. So in this video, we're going to look at um, a couple of mods. We're going to look at the simple menu, and we're going to look at the um, Respector, or I think it's called Respector um, mod as well. These are both uh, Nexus mods, and what they allow you to do is basically to respec your character with Respector, um, and with the simple menu, um, to add things to your character so you can level them up, uh, make them godlike, and that sort of stuff. So what we'll do is I'll just show quickly show you kind of what what you can do with them and kind of a simple way of how to use them, and then we'll look at um, kind of how to install them. So if I bring up um, my my Cyber Engine tweaks menu by pressing delete on my computer, you see I've got a few of these. Uh, is cheats of the right word? I'm not sure. So let's take a look at simple menu first, which is which is over here, which is really really cool. So you know, to start off, with, you can you can load and save configs. But if we click on items, for example, you can see straight here we have automatic ammo refill. So you can have that clicked, uh, magazine or inventory, um, and then we have add items. So you can add money to your character, nice and easy. Um, you can convert things. Um, and get rid of them and dis 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 disassemble them and modify them. Um, one of the more interesting though is player. So as you can see, we have a god mode for the player. We have infinite stamina we can turn on. And then here we have our attributes. So you can just maximize everything if you want, or you could reset everything, or you could set it to, to what you wanted. Now, a really cool thing about this is that this is a great way of messing around and trying out um, different builds for characters, you know? So instead of having to pay the money in the game to reset all your attributes and, and start again, you can just go in here with an experimental build and make like a ninja or make like a um, a, a really good um, assault character or a really good boxer or something like that, and you can play around, you know? I'm not in any way suggesting that by using these these mods, these cheats, you should then like go after records and say, look, I've done all this sort of stuff, because obviously you're, you're altering it. But they're a really cool cool way for doing that for creating content as well and ex and um, exploring the game um and it, it's really really cool that you can you can do all this and you can add perk points and all that sort of stuff now that's simple menu now this is all getting a little bit complicated isn't it so let's see if can we let's hide some of this stuff over here let's put that one down there so then let's look at respecter now, Respector really is based around being able to save and load um, specs or um, build of characters. So you could have, like, you know, as I say, you know, a ninja build or a um, assault build or a boxer build, uh, a stealth build, or so you can do all sorts of things like that. So you can save things. Um, and here we have the kind of the respec option. So again, you can reset your your um, perks. You can reset your attributes. Um, you can see what they are. So I could so I could respec all those to kind of start again with the character and start to start to experiment. Um, and then if you click quick quick tweaks this is a really interesting one because with quick tweaks basically this enables you to let's put it down here um add things to your character um uh, any of the any of the stuff that's in the game you can add so if for example i was to search for um like jackie and then we've got say jackie's arch so his motorbike if i click on that 
we get another option comes up. Jackie's Arch, it's a vehicle bike, you don't own this, so I could just click that, and that is now in my garage, so I can call on that. Um, if we close down that, there's some sort of quick options. We can click on Johnny, and if we wanted to add, um, what else have we got? Johnny's clothing, Johnny's shoes, we can click on that. We can quality legendary, and we can add them to our inventory. You know, how easy is that? Um, and then you've also got, uh, so there's his car. So let's add his car to our uh, inventory. So now we can call on his car if we want to. But also you have quests. So for example, this is a different ending. Unlock secret ending, Johnny friend. So am I Johnny's friend? So as I've been playing the game, have we turned on the fact that, you know, through the choices I've made, Johnny friend, so you can switch that to yes. But as they say, you've got to be careful when you do things like this because you could potentially create conflicts and it may well crash the game when, when you do things like that. Now, quick tweaks is very, very powerful, but I would suggest that you use it in combination with, uh, the say, the Cyberpunk wiki. Um, especially when it comes to things like assault rifles because the assault rifles have lots of different names and it can be a little bit difficult to figure out what you actually uh, want and I'll put links to all these in the description below the video so for example uh, let's choose a sniper rifle so if you look at the sniper rifles they've all got weird names Overwatch is the one that Pan Am give you Breakthrough Tech Tsunami Ashura which is a smart sniper rifle so if we go back to the game I'm sure it was cold. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, where are we? So, what do they call it? Ashura, didn't they? Ashura. Here we go. Ashura Military Weapon Smart Sniper Rifle. So, if we click on that, quality is legendary. Add to inventory. So, let's just, let's just close this down. Let's just go into the inventory. Let's go into our backpack. That uh, there it is. So the, there it is the Ashura Legendary Sniper Rifle. So I've just added it in. Now, funny enough, I haven't got the Smart Link Cyberware installed yet because literally this is a new character. <laughs> you know, they haven't done anything in the game yet, so they ha haven't been into the to the lady who gives you the Smart Link. Now I could spawn in the Smart Link, but hopefully you can kind of see there how with the quick tweaks where you're trying to spawn things into the game, you know, into your character you need to know the names of those things. So that's why I have to use it in combination with a um, with the wiki. Okay, so hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of how powerful these, okay, they're cheat menus, aren't they? How powerful these cheat menus are to help you, you know, respec, to enjoy the game with different weapons and, and but really trying different builds out in, in the game. Because we haven't got enough time, have we, to create different builds of all the different types of characters we should have. So let's come out of this. Um, and let's just quit out of the game. And let's go and see how you um, install them. So like most things to do with um, installing mods on Cyberpunk 2077, it, it revolves around uh, Nexus mods. And you really, I'd recommend you use the Vortex app. Um, because it makes installing these mods incredibly easy. Now, I'll put a link in the description below the video to my video about how you make the Vortex app work with Cyberpunk 2077 if you haven't. But basically, Nexus Mods is the website that you go and you create an account and their supported app is um, is is the v Vortex app, um, which is free, and you link your accounts between the two. And then when you download um, these mods, you you find, for example, the simple manual mod, and you, you then you download the um, Vortex version of it. That will then automatically be uh, pulled into your mods and automatically put into the game. And the beauty with Vertex, Vortex is you can enable or disable mods. So when there's an update and maybe a mod stops working, you can disable it temporarily. And when it gets updated, Vortex will download it automatically. So the, the kind of mods that you need, the main mod is the Cyber Engine Tweaks mod. And again, I'll put a link to that in the description below the video. And you can read, you know, there's loads of things you can do with it. Um, Cyber Engine Tweaks. Um, and that allows uh, the simple menu, um, cheat menu, to uh, to work. And these are the inst uh, instructions on how you can use that. There, there's videos on how to use it, what you can actually do, um, all that sort of stuff. And then you've got the Respector mod there. And again, there's a description on what it can do um, and how you could use it. Um, and uh, how you can um, 
how you can uh, use it to, to try out different builds. And that's it, really. It is incredibly easy when you combine this, you know, so you download, click the download on Vortex uh, link. When you use it with Vortex, you just start up Cyberpunk 2077 again, and uh, the mods will be there, and they will be working, and you can, you can tweak away to your heart's content. So hopefully you found that useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, please subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.